I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we are talking about making a deeper, better, more profound relationship with God. It even involves having out-of-body experiences. That's the subject of a book we're about to talk about right now on Spotlight. It is called Closer to God. The full title is called The Secret Ways That Bring Us Closer to God, Out-of-Body Travel to Deepen Your Relationship with Heaven and God. It is written by Heather Jamboy, and we are delighted to have her here today as a guest on Spotlight. Heather, thank you so much for joining me here today. Thank you so much, Logan, for inviting me. My pleasure. It is a comfort to you, I know, that you're able to communicate with your husband since he died about a year ago. And that's what inspired this book. Tell us a little bit about your journey and how this book came about. Well... Alan and I, we had a magnificent, joyful marriage. It was wonderful, inspiring. We would laugh and laugh about so many things, and it was deeply spiritual. <laughs> when he had heart failure, though, the whole time, and I was really shocked when he died. When he died, I was in, I was in agony. I didn't think I would be in that much pain because I, I, you know, I practice out-of-body travel, so I was under the viewpoint that he lives on. But I was in so much pain, and there were tears streaming down my face, my cheeks. And and then shortly after he died, I I began to have an it, basically using out of body travel. Alan and I met in heaven, and we had these profound, uplifting experiences together. And he would give me help and guidance, and this inner communication. And he'd joke too, because he has a funny sense of humor. <laughs> like yeah. um, he he was overweight, so he would say, "Hey, I lost all the weight." <laughs> <laughs> and and he would he knows I like puppies, so he would say, you know, that in heaven he was living in a sea of puppies. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. It's <laughs> really cute. But what was what was interesting? Our turning point was one day. One day, uh, I came across a seer, and the seer said that Alan and I with him in heaven, were destined to write a book together that would be the answer to many people's prayers. And, and it would be a, a profound gift. And so <laughs> one day I, I just started writing it with him. And it was just magnificent because he already had, before he died, he had such a deep insight and inspiration into visiting heaven with out-of-body travel, similar to near-death experiences. But after death, it was it was even deeper what we came into and profound. <laughs> um, just to give an example of, of what I mean, there, there was one period where I had an out-of-body experience where I just appeared in this heavenly universe of pure white light that went on for thousands and thousands of miles in all directions. And just a feeling of pure serenity and stillness, timelessness, and a sound that was just so heavenly. And this is the heaven of God. There are many heavens, but this heaven was very deep and profound. And one of the things that the seer also said was that there are many spiritual books out there, but most of the books out there are beginner level, that this one is actually um, advanced. And, and, it, and the essence or the heart of it, it, it shares secret ways to become closer to God that Alan shared with me from the other side, from heaven. And it was profound. I had a, a few individuals who previewed or read the book, and they said that they couldn't put it down. They, they read it in one sitting. Um, it was riveting, even though it was long. Um, but it's, it's such, such a blessing, and it's such a gift. I'm sure it's a great comfort to you that you're still connected with your husband, even though he has left this realm. Um, you talk about secret, secret ways that bring us closer to God. What are some of those secret ways? Well, a lot of people have heard of near-death experience where, where someone gets struck by lightning or something traumatic like that. And then they have an experience of hovering up above their body and visiting heaven. Well, Alan and I 
we had this spiritual bond where we were able to visit heaven by practicing out of body travel without anything traumatic, like being struck by lightning. <laughs> so it, a lot of our experiences, we would experience this beautiful light and sound, which is the voice of God. Mm. And we were able to leave our physical bodies. And it's sort of like when someone has a near-death experience, that's sort of like the beginning level. It's almost like receiving an invitation Mm -hmm. And we can either put that invitation on our wall, or we can use it for admission to a deeper level. And the astral plane or the plane of near-death experience is sort of like the first step, but mm -hmm. there are deeper levels and layers of, of this divine onion. And we were visiting levels of heaven that are very little known in these, what they are called the pure positive God worlds. And they're just heavens where you have a sense of, it's basically the heavens of God, the heavens of, they're heavens where you can have a profound, profound knowingness, mm -hmm. like you'll just know the answer to something, seeingness and beingness. And what we experienced was, it's basically self and God realization, moving closer to God, having an experience with God. So mm -hmm. it's leaving the body to experience God di directly. And some people call that god realization mm -hmm. there but you know words are words it's like a experiencing god by leaving the body by practicing simple methods and um actually i'll share a, a vision that i had um sure. alan and i <laughs> we had a fun like a funny marriage sometimes we um we would look at the soul what are called soul records you know agar casey looked at records and he could see the past when we would look at these at these soul records and, and and see things like find answers about like why we had certain conditions and so forth but on one occasion on one occasion after in the middle of writing this book i had written a letter to a friend and i tapped into the soul records when i inwardly requested what would this version of the future be like and suddenly i had an out-of-body experience where i left my body hovered above and I, and I flew right through the ladder, like it was a portal into another dimension. And then I saw the future, um, the future with this book. And I saw that there was like a, a number of people, a crowd of people at, at a, a seminar. And in, in the crowd, there was one person, a man, and he had tears in his eyes, he was crying. And the reason he was crying was because he was using this out of body travel and it was making his dreams come true. He was having a closer relationship with God. He was leaving his physical body and experiencing this heavenly light and sound and visiting heaven. That's, that's wonderful. If someone wants to have an out-of-body experience or experience out-of-body travel, where do you begin? Does it begin in bed, in prayer, uh, meditation? Tell me a little bit about the process. Well... With, with out-of-body travel, part, part, of the process is, <laughs> part of the process is that it's a matter of attention. So, for example, if I place my attention, say, um, say on New York City, <laughs> or like, a, like 14th Street in New York City. Sure, you're, you focus, focus on it strongly. Yeah, and you focus on it strongly, and you get a sense of uh, the surroundings, the sounds, the sights when you focus on something intensely like that, it's like a part of you is there. It's almost like when, when you get a phone call, like the phone is ringing mm -hmm. and uh, all of a sudden you, you just know who it is. Right. It's like, there's almost a part of you is with them. Right. But there's it's kind of like tapping into the, the telepathy and the extra senses that we all have that we don't necessarily tap into all the time. Right. Yeah, exactly. But there are different le levels of, of it because because some people connect through prayer, some through meditation, some through. Now, I don't recommend the astral projection, but that's sort of like that's a first stage. But there are deeper le levels. Like what I practice is spiritual exercises, mm -hmm. and it's different in the sense because instead of focusing on the lower levels, like traveling the physical world, like to New York City. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm focused using what's called the soul body. 
which is different than the astral body, which is different than the physical body. The soul body is, is sort of like this pure divine spark of God that we are. And, and when we are focused in traveling in, in that and as pure soul, our awareness is faster. It's, it's like, uh, how would you say, omnipresent mm. and, and deeper. And, and it's, it's profound. <laughs> now, I, this is often the case with meditation also, that meditation sometimes almost turns into sleep. Yeah. Is it the same type of thing where you're so relaxed, that you're so focused, that you're targeting on this area, that you drift into another state that is, you know, sometimes uh, part of the sleep stage? Well, so there are, I mean, there are methods that can use that. Um, mm -hmm. Not, 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 not necessarily. Well, a lot of people, a lot of people tend to tend to do the exercises consciously, mm -hmm. but some people will find that as they sleep, that they travel in their, in their drink in, in the inner worlds while they're sleeping too. Right. But um, usually we, we try to stay try to stay awake and conscious so even if the person is conscious of their physical body uh, a soul they might have dual awareness meaning they're aware of their body but then they're also aware of experiencing heaven at the same time i knew when my mom passed i got what i thought were very very vivid dreams of my mother um we had conversations and they were much more vivid and much more profound than ordinary dreams so they might not have been dreams i felt it was like her communicating with me and talking with me and telling me everything was going to be okay because mm -hmm. i was you know grief stricken like you were when alan passed mm -hmm. um so i think a lot of us who have lost loved ones have been to this realm haven't necessarily known how to char characterize it um so this book is helpful for that um it actually helps you take what you've already experienced and then turn it into a process where you can have that experience again on your own terms in a way, correct? Yes. Um, a lot of times, a lot of things that we're going, going through, there's a hidden spiritual reason for it. You know, like sometimes um, when we experience an illness after, <laughs> um, when we have an, an illness, like sometimes there's a spiritual reason hidden behind it. A certain lesson you know like uh sometimes when somebody has is sick and then they have an nde well the hidden spiritual reason may be that they wanted a closer relationship with heaven and god so they had this thing that looked bad but it was it had a spiritual purpose behind it you know what would you say a good first step would be for someone who wants to have a closer relationship with god who wants to connect with those who passed what would you what would your best advice be to them well um to start um a, a person can start practicing certain spiritual exercises um i i give different exercises in the book that people can practice at the end of each chapter um give us an example of one of those exercises obviously there's a lot in the book and people should get the book but just to give them a little taste of what it's all about just tell me a little bit about one of those exercises that you think is important okay um at one point i had this out of body experience where where i i left my my physical body and i experienced this brilliant white heaven that just like i said before it went on and on forever and sparkling light and sound like a high pitched sound and then i on an, another level lower level i saw this chalice of light which was filled with like a liquid light that was glowing bright and and i was given this cup cup and i was told to drink in a deeper love for god telepathically and so i began every morning i would visualize this as drinking in this deeper love for god and it was sort of like, it was sort of like putting my attention on deepening my love and relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And I felt more spiritualized and uplifted during the day. Um, Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. That, that is good advice and a good way to channel your energy. Because a lot of this is energy. It's taking what's inside of you already, I'd imagine, mm -hmm. and then using it, tapping it 
realizing you have this power because there's so much of our brains that is unutilized yes. that uh, to tap into this, these other senses that we have, these other perceptions that we have, these other abilities that we have are, are very important. Yes. And, and when I was working with Al, Alan in heaven, he, um, he gave me a lot of help. Like for, for me, I was going through different things and he, he gave me a lot of help and, and techniques, you know, such as how to deal with the grief, how to heal it. Mm -hmm. And, and it was very profound. And one of the messages that he says that he shares is that, is that people can connect more, learn how to communicate more with, with loved ones that have passed on mm -hmm. and communicate with certain beings who can, who can assist us to practice these methods and, and learn to leave the, the body and visit heaven so that we have help, <laughs> right. which are like uh, Varden masters, Varden meaning spirit, spirit masters, which means they have a level of mastery of that. And, and the, really the purpose of this, I mean, the, the purpose of this whole book is, is for individuals who truly want to deepen their relationship with God and, and have a contact with this light and sound of heaven um the whole book like every chapter <laughs> focuses on that and and alan helped me write it from the other side he was just magnificent <laughs> doing that well you're magnificent in writing this book because i'm sure it's going to be a great help to a lot of people a lot of people have lost um loved ones a lot of people everyone really has challenges and struggles that they're going through every day that would be helpful if they could connect more closely with God. The name of the book is The Secret Ways That Bring Us Closer to God, Out of Body Travel, Deepen Your Relationship with Heaven and God by Heather Jamboy. And Heather, we appreciate you writing the book. Where can folks get this book, by the way? Well, um, <laughs> the, the date that it comes out is November 8th. Um, okay. And they can get it actually um, 99 cents or free for until December 10th and then and then it goes to regular but probably they can get it on Amazon mm -hmm. and um, in the next day or so we'll put um, we'll put a description of the book on our website too which is bardencar.com but it will become available on Amazon as of November the 8th. Okay, uh, great. We will have those here. links on our website as well. So the folks at home who'd like to purchase the book can get it. It is called Closer to God by Heather Jamboy. It is a worthwhile read. It will probably change your life in a very, very good way. Heather, thank you so much for joining thank us you. here today on Spotlight. Thank you. It was, a, it was a joy. Thank you. It was a joy for me as well. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time, I'm Spotlight.